Hello everyone and welcome to our PC class. Our discussion today is going to be on fundamental and derived quantities. But before going deep into this in this topic, we need to de define what physical quantity means. So in this case, physical quantity is defined as any quantity upon which a numerical value can be assigned. In other words, it is a quantity that can be measured. So in this case, we may, we, we may divide physical quantity into two. That is number one, fundamental quantity, fundamental quantity, and number two, derived quantity. So now, let us look at fundamental quantity. In this case, we can define fundamental quantity as any quantity that are not dependent upon others and cannot be defined in terms of any other quantity. In other words, it may be defined as a quantity upon which other quantities can, can defend. That is, we derive other quantities from fundamental quantities. Now let us see examples here. Oh, before seeing example, fundamental quantities, their unit is also known as fundamental units. We are now talking of fundamental units, not as a unit. There is difference. So examples here let us have a fundamental quantity here and fundamental quantity fundamental unit Symbol here. Let us do it. Let us treat it in this way. Symbol. Number one, example one is going to be length. Length here is an example of fundamental quantity. Its fundamental unit is meter and the symbol here it is represented as m the next fundamental quantity is mass the unit for this fundamental quantity is kilogram And we represent kilogram as kg. Number three, are you getting it? Number three is time. Time. And its fundamental unit is second. And second is represented simply as S. Number four, who can tell us? All right. Number four is temperature. Here we need to take into consideration 
the scale of measurement we are using to measure the temperature. It may either be in Kelvin, the fundamental unit may either be in Kelvin or in Celsius scale, degree Celsius. Depending on the scale, we may either use Kelvin scale or Celsius scale. So in this case, this, the, the symbol can be either K for Kelvin scale or degree Celsius for Celsius scale. Like this. The next fundamental quantity is current. Current. Current is measured in what? It is measured in ampere. Ampere. And the symbol of ampere is simply A. The next, that is number six. The next fundamental quantity, number six, is going to be. Uh, amount of substance amount of substance amount of substance measured in mole mole and the symbol of mole is simply represent is simply written as mole like this and the last but not the least fundamental quantity is that is number seven is luminous intensity luminous luminous intensity luminous intensity is measured in candela and the symbol is simply C. Thus are fundamental quantities. So let us now discuss so you can see that we have seven fundamental quantities. And those quantities are used to derive what we call derived quantities. And their symbols and units are used to derive the derived units and derived symbol. Let us now look at uh, the, next, the next type of physical quantity, that is derived quantities. The derived quantities. Here we may define derived quantities as those quantities that can be obtained by simple combination of two or more fundamental quantities. That is, derived quantities depend upon fundamental quantities. They can be derived by a simple combination of two, three or more fundamental quantities. You understand? So let us now go straight to the examples. Example. Examples. Let us consider the following. Let us derive this. Let us now write and complete this table. Yeah, derived quantity. Quantity. And derived. 
units. Marking, we call this derived unit, not SI unit, but derived unit, not SI unit, it is derived unit. Here, the first, the first of the derived quantities is going to be, let us now take area, area. Area is measured in meter square. Meter square. That is when we multiply length and breadth, we get meter square. Both are measured in meters. So meter times meter is going to give us meter square. The next one is going to be speed. Speed. Speed, the derived unit or symbol of speed is meter per second. Meter per second, derived from velocity or speed, which is equal to distance all over time. Here is meter, here is second, that is where we get meter per second or meter per, per second. This is the derived unit of speed. The next one is going to be frequency. 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 The derived unit of frequency is per second. From pass O and its SI unit. Mark you differentiate it from SI unit. This is the right unit, not SI unit. Okay? The fourth example of the right unit, the right quantity, is going to be force. 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 And its derived unit is going to be is, is going to be kilogram meter per second square. Kilogram meter per second square. This is the derived unit of force. Mark you, I will always repeat it. This is not the SI unit, but the derived unit. It is through this we can obtain the SI unit. The next example is going to be uh, it is going to be power number five, and the last one I am taking today is power. Power is a derived quantity and its derived unit is kilogram per meter square per second cube. This is the derived unit of power. Other derived quantities, let me give you this as a bonus. Other derived quantities are Mm, charge charge is a derived quantity inductance inductance is a derived quantity mm, inductance Fd or potential difference electrical potential difference potential difference is also a derived quantity and many examples you can find somewhere. Do you understand this? Differentiated, this is derived unit, not SI unit. We will get to SI unit in our